Hi, my name is Rosemary and I'm a scientist with BioBus. When you smell something, special cells in your nose recognize that scent and send signals to your brain. This helps you notice, identify, and understand what's in your environment. It's an especially important adaptation that animals have evolved to help us figure out what's happening around us. Different animals have evolved to be good at sensing certain smells that mean very specific things to them. The characteristics of different smells can influence our behavior. We use characteristics or features to define things. And we can use this today to help us explore some scents in our home environment. If something has a good smell to an animal, they might be attracted to it. Maybe it's a resource like food or safety. If something has a bad smell to an animal, they might avoid it. Maybe it's dangerous or could make them sick. For our neuroscience experiment challenge, let's find out how our brains react to different scents and smells in our environment. Let's do an experiment. Step one, do some sample collecting around your home. I like to gather a lot of samples. You can collect as many or as few as you'd like for each experiment. Step two, make a list of what you collected. Then add a place to note the characteristic of each scent. Step three, perform your test by smelling each sample and record your data for each item. Scientists use a special technique called wafting to investigate how substances smell. Sometimes it can be unhealthy to smell something too strongly, even when observing a scent. Did any of your samples trigger a memory or a feeling when you smelled them? Make a note or draw a picture about what comes to mind when you smell a particular sample. Neuroscientists are very curious about how an animal's sense of smell activates our memories and makes us feel certain ways. Were there any smells you really loved? Things you couldn't stand? Did any of the scents bring an unexpected memory? Submit your data using the form below. Have fun exploring your brain.